why Toyota's solid-state battery could be a game-changer for EVs. It shouldn't be a surprise that most car makers are shifting toward the production of electric cars, given all that's been happening in the world recently. When you think about electric automobiles in today's market, you immediately think of firms like Tesla, Rivian, and Lucid. And with good cause, they grabbed the chance and marched on established vehicle manufacturers who were too large to react as rapidly as a firm with a clean slate. However, one of the more conventional automobile manufacturers did make an effort to become the industry leader in terms of mobility in the future. Hello, and welcome to eZero, the channel where we cover electric vehicle news, updates, and content. In this video, we are going to see why Toyota's solid-state battery could be a game-changer for EVs. Toyota, a behemoth in every sense of the word, defied convention by offering the rest of the world a car such as the Prius. As of the year 2023, it will have been more than 25 years since the Toyota Prius was the first hybrid vehicle to be mass-produced, and the hybrid technology has proven to be more than a passing fad for the Japanese automobile maker. Toyota came to the conclusion over the course of many years that electric cars were not the way of the future. Instead, they concentrated on developing hybrid automobiles, plug-in hybrids, and even vehicles fueled by hydrogen fuel cells. This was mirrored in their launches, none of which really struck the mark, and it was clear that they had some work to do. There is a good point of view that contends Toyota may have been onto something all along, but they just botched the execution of their plan. At this point in time, electric cars are gaining popularity, and the opinion within the industry is that this is the path that should be taken going ahead. It seems that Toyota has made a significant about-face recently. It has said that it had achieved a technical breakthrough in the previous period, claiming that it was able to fix the problems that are now being experienced with lithium-ion cells, which are largely employed by makers of electric vehicles. The solution proposed by Toyota is to replace the lithium-ion batteries with solid-state batteries, which, in theory, would shorten the amount of time required for charging, boost capacity, and lessen the danger of fires that are often connected with lithium-ion cells. If this is the case, then why haven't other manufacturers of electric cars switched to using solid-state batteries? The fact that solid-state batteries are currently far more difficult and costly to produce than their liquid-state counterparts means that their use in industrial or commercial settings is severely constrained as a result. Toyota believes that its technical innovation might make the process simpler, perhaps making it easier to build solid-state batteries than lithium-ion ones. It is also said that this might make it possible for electric cars to have a range of 745 miles and a charge period of less than 10 minutes, which would be a significant advance over the electric vehicles that are now equipped with lithium-ion batteries. According to Toyota, this may become a reality as early as the year 2027, which would provide it with a significant edge in terms of regaining some of the ground it has lost in comparison to its rivals. Even though the recent breakthrough at Toyota may be excellent news for the Japanese manufacturer and its investors, it is still important to maintain a healthy degree of skepticism over the reality of the situation. There is a compelling reason for Toyota's decision to focus solely on the hybrid market up until this point. Graphite is the material that is often used as the anode in lithium-ion batteries. However, solid-state batteries employ lithium metal as the anode rather than graphite. The replacement of a liquid electrolyte with a solid electrolyte is the key to the operation of solid-state batteries. If what Toyota claims to have discovered is in fact true, and the company has found a means to simplify the process of mass-producing solid-state batteries for use in electric cars, then this would be a significant step forward in ensuring a more environmentally friendly future for the automotive industry. Even for a firm like Toyota, which has the power and resources to get through the challenges that are involved, this is a hard technology to master. In fact, Toyota was not even close to the first company to be on the scene here. Already, there are new businesses getting off the ground with the goal of making solid-state batteries more accessible financially and simpler to manufacture. However, as of yet, none of them have achieved their goals to the point where their goods can be installed in any of the electric cars that are now on the market. The simple fact that Toyota has said that it would work toward delivering on its promise of using solid-state batteries in electric cars by the year 2027 demonstrates that the company is still quite a ways away from making this technological advance a reality. In a discussion with the Financial Times, Toyota's CTO, Hiroki Nakajima, said that solid-state batteries are not necessarily the ultimate solution for battery challenges, and he went on to remark that there is still opportunity for advancement in liquid-based batteries. So, this contributes to the train of thinking that suggests Toyota is on the verge of doing something really remarkable, but it is not the final goal. The performance of the battery is essential to the experience of driving an electric vehicle, from the driving range and charging time to the lifespan of the vehicle. According to Stanford University, artificial intelligence has made it more feasible that recharging an electric vehicle can be done in the same amount of time that it takes to stop at a petrol station. Also, the amount of time needed
needed to test batteries has been cut by 98% thanks to a machine learning algorithm created at Stanford. The latest sport utility vehicles and pickup trucks are equipped with a big battery range, high towing capacities, and all the accessories that are characteristic of mid-range luxury automobiles. For instance, the all-electric F-150 Lightning from Ford is expected to have a range of 300 miles as evaluated by the EPA, or the electric Silverado from Chevrolet is said to have a range of 400 miles. The Wall Street Journal is speculating that once the overall cost of having an electric car is cheaper than the cost of owning a similar gasoline-powered vehicle, a large number of individuals would convert to electric vehicles in order to save money. According to Consumer Reports, the price in the United States is already beyond that barrier. Nevertheless, Car and Driver claims that federal tax credits play a big part in the pricing. The base price of a Rivian is $67,500, whereas the base price of a Tesla Cybertruck is $39,900, and the base price of a GMC Hummer is $79,995. Obviously, these numbers are subject to significant shifts depending on the choices made and any additional fees incurred. The charging infrastructure needs to keep pace with electric vehicle demand if electric vehicles are the future. There are indications that public charging stations may become more widespread in the near future. According to research that was released by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, the amount of public electric vehicle supply equipment increased by over 10% during the first three months of 2023. Out of that total, the growth of direct current fast chargers, which allow for quick charging of batteries, was 10.6%. As one of the national leaders in this growth, California was one of the leaders in its own state, boosting its charging infrastructure by more than 10%. However, this is not nearly enough to satisfy the expected demand for electric vehicles. According to Forbes, a shortage of charging infrastructure might restrict the adoption of electric cars, which would halt the development of electric vehicles in the future. There are three distinct types of charging stations, level one, level two, and DC fast chargers. The level one chargers are the ones with the slowest rate. In the United States, they utilize a 120 volt AC plug to provide around two to five miles of range to the vehicle for every hour that it is charged. Level two chargers need an outlet capable of delivering 240 volts of alternating current and may provide between 10 and 60 miles of range for every hour spent charging. And DCFCs have a voltage of 480 volts direct current and may add around 180 to 240 miles of range for every hour spent charging. At this time, over 80% of electric vehicle drivers in the United States charge their vehicles at home, often using either level one or level two chargers. However, as the demand for electric vehicles develop, particularly among those who do not live in single family homes, the networks of public charging stations will need to expand. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and tell us in the comments below whether you believe there is a bright future ahead for electric cars or not. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. Until next time.